Hey guys, this is Cheyenne. In this video from the DP playlist, I will solve another 2000 plus problem on code forces. Apple Man and 3461B. This problem says that assume we have a tree of n vertices and n is up to 10 to the power of 5. Some of the vertices are black and some are white. For example, I show the black ones like this. We know that if we remove k edges, then we're gonna have k plus 1 connected components. If we remove k edges from our tree. We want to remove k edges from our tree such that all the remaining components will have exactly one black vertex. You have to say that how many ways we have in order to do that. Well, the first thing that we can say here, the problem has a mention it but it's obvious that k should be equal to the number of black vertices minus one but it doesn't matter even that much in our problem we don't use this that much to solve our problem in this problem there's an important thing we need to apply dynamic programming on a tree on a graph it's like for each vertex v we want to use dynamic programming in order to solve the problem in its own subtree so for each vertex v we want to solve in its subtree we know that if we remove some of the edges in this subtree there will be connected components in here that v is in there and there are two cases these connected components should have either one black vertex or zero black vertices because if it has two black vertices then there's no way to fix this we have solved the subtree of v so we have removed all the edges that we could remove and if still vertex v has a path to two different black vertices then there's no way to fix that and we're done so we either have one black vertex or zero in the connected component that v is why we also assume that the connected component of vertex v has zero black vertices because maybe in future when it merges other vertices it will have one black vertex i mean that in this subtree the only connected component that has the permission to have zero black vertices is the component that that vertex v is in it because this is the only connected component that has the chance to be connected to outside but the other connected components they are done and if they don't already have one black vertex then there's no way to fix them so the only connected component which has the permission to have zero black vertices is the connected component of vertex v so we have two states for each vertex v the connected component that vertex v lies in has one black vertex or has no black vertices and this this is gonna be all for our six. Now the question is that how we can calculate these DPs. First, assume that vertex V is a white vertex. It is easier. Then we show that black vertices can also be solved in a similar manner. So assume that vertex V is a white vertex. We have to update it by its children and we can add all the children one by one. Our tree is rooted as a random vertex for example vertex 1 we run a dfs and now we want to solve the subtree of vertex v and in order to solve that one by one we go on its children and call the dfs of them and solve them recursively then we are going to add the subtree of this child to the subtree of vertex v so for example so far we have added several children several subtrees and now we are adding another subtree to vertex v so we have for example many children so far we have added some and we are adding a new one and in future again we will add more well i know that initially my base case before adding the children i assumed that vertex v is a white vertex so the subtree of vertex v will definitely have zero black vertices because v is alone so far we haven't added any of its children to it so initially dp of v and zero is one for our base case and dp of v and one is zero because there is no way that it can have a black vertex in its connected component since it's alone so far we haven't added the children and this vertex is a white vertex so when we add this new child this child u well in here we want to see that how does the dps of v change according to the values of dps for u we first assume that vertex v already has a black vertex in its connected component it already has a black vertex so our current state is v and one i'm merging the subtree of vertex u and the current subtree of vertex v if vertex u doesn't have any black vertices in its own subtree in its own connected component if that happens i can simply append it to the connected component of vertex v and we don't remove this edge this has zero black vertices and this has one black vertices so everything is okay we don't have the opportunity to remove this edge 
because if we remove this edge, then the connected component of vertex U doesn't make sense. It has no black vertices. So it's possible that the connected component of a vertex V for now has one black vertices and U has zero black vertices. And it will result in a new connected component for V, which again has one black vertex. Then the second case is that V has one black vertex in its connected component and U also has one black vertex. Then we have to remove this edge between U and V. Because because if we do not remove that edge, then the connected component of vertex V is going to have two black vertices, which is not acceptable and we cannot have that. So if this happens, we have to remove this edge and then still the connected component of vertex V has one black vertex, so V and one. Now, if V has zero black vertices and U also has zero black vertices, if this happens, then we cannot remove this edge. This edge must stay because otherwise the connected component of vertex U is going to have zero black vertices. And then for sure vertex V in its connected component has no black vertices and it's gonna be V and zero. The final possibility is that V has zero black vertices in its connected component and U has one black vertex in its connected component. If this happens, we have both choices. So we can either remove this edge. If we remove this edge, then we are gonna go to a state V and zero and every Everything is okay because the connected component of vertex U still has one black vertex and that's okay. And if we do not remove this edge, then we will go to the set of V and 1. So basically this is how we will update the values of DP. We should consider all these cases and when we add another edge U, initially we set the values of DP like this. Whenever we add a new child, first we say that DP of V and 1 should be multiplied by DP of U and 0 plus DP of U and 1. Well, this is because we know that if V already has one, any of the cases that U has zero black vertices or one black vertices will result a new set of uh, removing edges for me in here for V and one. So we should multiply the, this value by dp of U and zero plus dp of U and one. So we should have this multiplication. Also, we have to say that dp of V and one should be added by the value of dp of V and zero times dp of u and 1 because we said that this case also goes to v and 1 it's possible that v has zero black vertices in its connected component and u has one this is exactly the case we know that this case will go to v and 1 and finally we have to update dp of v and 0 well, again, we see what we said. We know that if we want V and zero, V should be zero and U can be either zero and one, both works. So we can just simply say that DP of V and zero multiplied by DP of U and zero plus DP of U and one. We just multiply it by the sums. And also take care of mod because we have to calculate this number modulo 10 to the power of nine plus seven. So this is basically what, how we update the values of DP. So a tricky question. Do you know that why first I updated DP of V and one and then I calculated the new value for DP of V and zero? Think about it. And if you have an answer, say that in the comments below. I will read all of them and tell you if it's correct or not. Our final answer is gonna be dp of root and one. And if we consider vertex zero as our root initially, it's gonna be dp of zero and one. And finally, we should also consider the case that vertex v is black, because so far we considered v is a white vertex. Well, if vertex V is black, I can simply consider this at the end. I can just say that if vertex V was black, I should just say that dp of V and one is equal to dp of v and zero and dp of v and zero is equal to zero. Why do I do this? I say that vertex v is black. So it any possible case that I had, it will add one additional black to them. So if I had a case that it has zero black vertices, now it has one black vertex. And also there is no way that I have zero black vertices in the connected component of vertex v anymore. So I just shift the values. DP of V and zero is going to DP of V and one and DP of V and minus one, which is impossible and it is zero will shift to DP of V and zero. So DP of V and zero is going to be zero. So the main point is that if V is black, this is the simplest way to deal with this. We just shift everything. We just say that DP of V and one is equal to DP of V and zero and DP of V and zero is equal to zero. Okay, in order to 
implement this problem first I know that n is at most 10 to the power of 5 so I'm gonna say int of const int of n is equal to 1 if 5 plus 20 I have to get int of n and the parents of each of the vertices and also I should get the color of each of the vertices I have vector for the children of each of the vertices I also have the color for each of the vertices which is either 0 or 1 so initially it says sin n and we get all of the parents p minus minus i just say that g of p dot pushback i this way each of the vertices in the vector they have the indices of all of their children and then i will get all of the colors so i see in x now i should run a dfs and i should also define my value of dp in here I have dp of n and 2 and I should run dfs on vertex 0 and I know that after the dfs my answer is going to be dp of 0 and 1. Okay so now we should define dfs. I also keep my parents. Okay if we go back to the tablet we know that we said that initially we set dp of v and 0 equal to 1 and dp of v and 1 equal to 0. We do the same thing in here we say that dp of v and 0 is equal to 1 and dp of v and 1 is equal to 0. It is initially 0 but we just write that to make everything clear. But we know that u is a child of v so we don't even need to pass parents with dfs of u and now we have to add the subtree of u to v or to the subtree of v. So we should consider everything that we said in tablet. Define mode. And we said that dp of v and 1 is going to be equal to 1ll times dp of v and 1 times dp of u and 0 plus dp of u1 modular mode. This 1ll is just for casting to long long so that I won't have overflow. 1ll times dp of v and 0, the case that before we had no black vertices in the connected component of vertex v, times dp of u and 1. u adds one black vertex to the connected component of vertex v. And then we have dp of v and 0 equal to 1ll times dp of u and 0 plus dp of u and 1. dp of v and 0 is equal to 1ll times dp of v and 0 is current value times dp of u and 0 plus dp of u and 1 modulo mode. So this way you can update all the values for this specific vertex. And then we say that if x of i is 1, it means that vertex i is colored black. So we have to say that if x of i, then dp of v and 1 is equal to dp of v and 0, and dp of v and 0 is equal to 0. And at the end it's just enough to say out the value of dp of 0 and 1. And now I think everything is fine, and oh, this i is... Okay, now let's test this. Let's keep the first sample to it. It's giving zero, but it should give two. So there is a bug in here. Initially, we set these values. When I have a bug, what I do is that I will see out as much as I can. Let's have a tab in here so that it shows the difference to us that this is for debug. Okay, so in here I just print all the values of dps of v and 0 and vv and 1. And this tree is very simple. It's just both the vertices are the child of the vertex 1 and their colors are black. You see that none of the children are cut and O. Oh. Guys, in between of the video, I want to say a small thing to you. I'm making this video in order to help everybody who are learning CP. I want them to learn it for free and I want this to be accessible to everyone. So if you know anyone who might get benefit from these videos, please share these videos with them. This way I can be sure that all my efforts are not for nothing and many people are getting benefits from the videos I'm making. And this really motivates me to continue what I'm doing. The issue, the main issue is that these are zero based. These values are initially zero based. I didn't need to make them zero based. So this P minus minus should be removed. So let's pass them again. Okay, this seems fine now. This one seems also fine. Let me remove this brush now. And this seems fine as well. Okay, now let's submit it and let's see what happens. Okay, it got accepted. 